assessment of the amount and type of waste produced at your school. By investigating and analyzing the waste that's produced at your school, you're able to develop targeted campaigns that allow you to address key issues. Waste audits are a key component to the EcoSchools program and should be completed by high school and elementary schools. By developing uh, plans and solutions specific to their school, students also are building strong active citizenship skills. The waste audit should be done once, if not twice a year. It's important to do it at the beginning of the year because you set your goals from your waste audit. In the audit, there's many parties involved. The principal, the caretaker, as well as the eco-team teacher. And the students really are the heart of the audit. They make sure to get the job done. So sad, waste of food. Should I look down? Straight into the camera. Okay. To run a waste audit, there are four important steps. Step one, plan and organize. Talk to your principal and staff to arrange a day, time, and space for the audit. You will need a large space for the audit. Ask your caretaker to set aside waste collected the day before the audit and label all bags. Assemble a waste audit team and assign responsibilities. Review proper waste audit attire. Inform teachers that students will be absent during the waste audit. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hey guys, how are you? Hi. Gather your audit supplies together. <laughs> Step two, set up for your audit. Make sure you have all your waste set aside. Organize the waste sorting station and collecting area. Make signs showing the different waste audit categories and attach them to the back of the chairs in the collecting area. Make sure your room is ready for garbage. Post your safety guidelines and review safety procedures. Review proper waste sorting practices. Excellent. Step three, conduct your waste audit. Invite your whole school to experience the waste audit. Attention staff and students, the Eco Waste Audit is about to begin. Bring your classes down to the gym if you wish to take a look. Thank you and have a great day. So, this one is the recyclable containers. Now you're ready to do your waste audit. Begin by emptying the contents of the bags into your sorting station. We might be able to actually oh, turn it into the As you sort through the bag's contents, communicate what you find to the recorder and record on the waste audit worksheet. Distribute the contents into the appropriate bins in the collecting area. Once you've emptied all your contents, you have to weigh each bag of sorted waste and record your findings. Now that you've gone through all your garbage, it's time to prepare the collecting area for the next waste type. You're almost done doing your waste audit. Don't forget to tidy up. Wipe down the tables, clean up the collection bins, and sweep or mop the floor. <laughs> Remember to wash your hands when the cleaning is complete. Step four, analyze and act. Now you have recorded all of the data from your waste audit, so use the Excel spreadsheet to calculate your results. The spreadsheet allows us to see what are the major issues with our school's recycling habits and garbage habits. Uh, it also allows us to see how our progress has been over the last year since our previous waste audit and really what we're doing well and what we still need to improve on. Finally, it's time to put your plans into action. Completing a waste reduction plan helps to chart the actions and resources needed to reach your targets. If we see a lot of mistakes that are reoccurring, then we'll try to correct them so then maybe more stuff will be in the right place. You should really include what your specific goals are, um, the resources that you need to address these goals, as well as the support that you need, so from administration, from caretaking, and from the staff of the school. It's also important to communicate your results and your plans to address issues. To make your display more visually appealing, consider using pictures and graphs. Behaviors have changed in the last little while and it's, it's, they really have internalized uh, 
what's important in terms of consuming less and, and recycling. Uh, and I think the audit uh, has played a huge role in that. They're learning the lifelong lessons that uh, we as a school system really want to inspire in kids. And I think the waste audit is just another way to reinforce those lifelong lessons, you know, living your life so that it's, um, it's helpful to the broader community, not just, uh, not just in your own backyard. If you're looking for more information on completing an audit at your school, refer to the Eco Schools Waste Audit Guidebook. <laughs> One person can make a difference. What are you waiting for? Roll up your sleeves, grab some gloves, and discover what the waste looks like at your school. You never know what you might find. One, two, three. <laughs>